politics, commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malzberg. The film America is a patriotic film uh, being released in time for the 4th of July. And yet it's not a rah-rah patriotism that uncritically celebrates America. Rather, it's the patriotism that was referred to by Edmund Burke when he said, to love our country, our country should be lovely. All right, folks, uh, that's a uh, trailer from the uh, new documentary, America, uh, produced by uh, Dinesh D'Souza and, of course, our guest, my friend Gerald Molin, who uh, has been uh, kind enough to join us in the past and joins us once again. Gerald, welcome, sir. Steve, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, of course, uh, Academy Award winning uh, producer of Schindler's List and uh, producer of the wildly successful first uh, uh, documentary that you and Dinesh uh, did together. And of course, the news today that uh, Dinesh D'Souza pleaded guilty um, to, uh, to uh, illegal campaign contributions in, a, in kind of a plea deal. Uh, what's your reaction to it, Gerald? Well, Steve, I'm, I'm deeply saddened, number one. Um, you know, I know Dinesh, I know Dinesh's heart. And uh, I also believe very deeply that, uh, you know, when he, when he went out to help, uh, you know, his friend with her campaign, um, he also wanted to help other people who wanted to contribute to it. He kind of, kind of caught himself up in this. And uh, it just came out badly for him. I just, I'm really sorry about it. Um, did, did, did he ever talk about it with you prior to? Did you know he was going to plead, uh, you know, plead guilty? And uh, it, did, did he lay, lead you to believe one way or another that uh, he didn't do anything wrong or what? No, we, no, we never discussed it uh, prior to the, um, to the, to the plea. It's, uh, I think for me, just personally, when I, when I think about uh, uh, this whole issue, um, I still think it's kind of politically motivated. People aren't too happy with him, people on the left, that is, uh, because of 2016. And, uh, and even there, if people that go and see the film, they realize that it's not a Clinton or an Obama bashing film. Um, and interesting, a lot of things that, uh, that Dinesh predicted in that film is coming true today. But you think, I mean, because you know, you've, you've said this before. You still think that uh, you still think that this was politically uh, the the prosecution of him uh, was politically motivated. Well, yeah, a little bit of me says yes. In fact, um, I, I believe it because uh, the timing on it is just too um, it just it's, it's rather odd to me. I'm sorry. The timing is what? What'd you say? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the timing on the whole issue is just rather odd. Odd. Um, okay, and, and you also, Gerald, have, have indicated in the past, last time you were on with me, I believe, talking about this when this, these charges first came to light, uh, that, uh, you know, for the first time you were, you were afraid of your government. Is that still the case, and do you believe that this is, this prosecution is a, is a message to people? Well, I, I, as I look at what's going on in the country today, I would, I would still kind of believe that uh, people need to be a little bit concerned. I mean, we're talking about something here that had to do with campaign finance. I, I, I see nothing. I saw no outrage about the campaign finance use of, misuse of funds by uh, the admitted Harry Reid uh, spending campaign money for, uh, for gifts for his staff. And, uh, and I go back even to John Edwards when he was uh, indicted for campaign finance uh, misuse of funds. I think that was 900000 or over 900000 so yeah, I'm just a little concerned that it uh, it, it tends to um, be pushed towards the conservatives in a in an unfair way. Um, do you, would this prevent you uh, from uh, doing another? I mean, I know that America is out uh, coming out. It's out now. It's very it's wildly you know going to be another great success. But would this prevent you from uh, doing another one? No, absolutely not. I love this country. I love everything about it. And uh, you know, the whole purpose is to reach out to people and and uh, educate 
all those that <clears throat> basically have been indoctrinated to all their lives and have no real understanding of what America is all about. Daniel Harper um, of the uh, Weekly Standard was on with us uh, just a, a few moments ago and uh, a little while ago, and he said that uh, he, he feels that uh, if Dinesh was going to plead guilty, that he should have been up front and uh, told his supporters from the beginning, hey, don't, don't go to the mat for me on this, don't defend me on this, I did something wrong, um, you know, and, I, and I'm going to face up to it. Uh, do, you, do you think that uh, Dinesh handled this the right way, uh, b b you know, with his supporters and with you and with others? Well, yeah, I, I think he did for crying out loud. I mean, he listened to his attorneys, and I'm sure he took their advice on what to say, what not to say, uh, until all the facts came out. Yeah. No, uh, it's... Uh, it's, it's um, Certainly, you you make you make good points with uh, you know Harry Reid and, and others, and uh, it's it's very interesting. Uh, do you plan on still you know whether he gets a, a, a jail time or not, a few months or whatever? Do you plan on continuing your relationship with Dinesh as if nothing uh, has happened? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's a friend of mine, and uh, if there if there's something that is found uh, to be wrong in uh, in what he did. Uh, you know, there'll be consequences for it, and that uh, that's not a necessary um, uh, issue for me to walk away from from a friend who I believe in, and I think has done a, a phenomenal job in in uh, promoting America. Uh, his past books, eight, nine, ten, whatever there there are of his, um, you know, the man has shown himself to be a scholar, and uh, uh, so he made a mistake. All right. Uh, Gerald, always great talking to you, sir. It's an honor for me to speak with you, and uh, thank you very, very much. Steve, good luck. Thank you, sir. Take care. Gerald Mullen, ladies and gentlemen, exclusively here on the Steve Malzberg Show, uh, saying that he will not walk away uh, from Dinesh D'Souza, saying that he's deeply saddened, um, he believes that, uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the prosecution of Dinesh D'Souza was politically motivated, and uh, the timing to him is odd. Uh, citing that there was no outrage over Harry Reid and his misuse of campaign funds, for instance, uh, or even uh, no outrage over John Edwards. Um, uh, he cited uh, John Edwards' uh, $900,000. I don't have that figure at my fingertips uh, to, to, to verify or, or not. Um, tends to be pushed towards conservatives, is, uh, is what he said. All right, folks, so we are coming back, and we are coming back with uh, Sal Russo. Don't miss it. <laughs>